This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Something has lit up the cigar galaxy. Star explodes. Film at 11. 11 is right now. It's always 11 somewhere. Its increasing brilliance of the supernova has thrilled the stargazing community. Messier M82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy, which hangs just above the bowl of the Big Dipper. Star explodes. Now remember, smoking will kill you, but exploding will kill you faster. Why is a star exploding so exciting? That is an excellent question, Katie Mac. Or shall I call you Astro Katie? New supernova, Discovery, is closest in years. Closest since 1987. The type we use to study dark energy. Binocular visible. So come on, let's get some neutrinos. They're my favorite breakfast cereal. I like my neutrinos with sugar. Sugar. Boom, she explodes. Man, it's one of those stories everybody who's anybody's talking about in the very small and high school like professional scientific community, astronomy and pseudo astronomy club. You've got everybody from Phil Plate, Astro Katie talking about it, Amy Mainzer from the Jet Propulsion Lab, in Pasadena, California, or as I like to call her, Miss Snow White and the Seven Brown Dwarfs. She said on her Twitter tweet thingy, oh. Its host galaxy, comma, is about 11 million light years from Earth. So we're seeing an 11 mile old explosion. Period, crazy, exclamation point. As if crazy with a period wasn't enough, it got exclamation pointed out. Boom, she explodes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, apparently a star has exploded in a galaxy semi far, far away. This supernova will continue to get brighter for about 10 more days. You're gonna need some binoculars or a telescope to see it. I know if you got 20-0 vision, maybe you can see it. But um, no doom here, 12 light years, which is like a hop, a skip, and a jump. Unless you know how to fold space, then it's just a hop. Technically, supernovas are pretty common in a universe with damn near infinite stars. If you have infinity, then, you know, one's blown up everywhere, somewhere, all the time. Did I get that math right? Amy, Phil, Astro Katie, correct Neil DeGrasse, Mr. Hawkin, uh, correct me if you need be. I'd say call batons, but I, don't you only know comets, dude? Just kidding. I was riving you, Carl. Boom, she explodes. It's a cigar supernova in the sky. Kaboom! That was a video game back in the day. When video games were fun to play and have bad graphics, you're probably too young to remember that. Kaboom! Nearby galaxy, M82 hosts a new supernova, exclamation point. Phil, plate, used two, exclamation points. See, this is an interesting story. Stars explode. Film at 11. It's always 11 somewhere, and it's 11 right now, right here. This is terribly exciting for astronomers and pseudo-astronomers like myself. M82 is pretty close as galaxies go, less than 12 million light years away. That means we have an excellent view of one of the biggest explosions in the universe. And we'll be able to study it in great detail. The supernova has the preliminary designation of PSN J0955421 plus plus 69 4 ot 2 6 ot Wow, that's awful. I know that's awful. It's based on the star's coordinates. Well, then I think I know where that supernova came from. That star just suffered the little death but it'll get a name soon enough that'll be easier on our eyes and our brain. My brain's pretty tough, Phil. PP, you mind if I call you PP? All right, PP. And just to get this out of the way, we're in no danger from this explosion. It's far too far away. That's probably the best sentence you've ever written in Thor News' opinion. It's far too far away. Congratulations. 10 points to Hufflepuff. Also, you won't be able to just go outside, look up, and see it. Right now, it's too faint to see without a telescope. But the good news is it appears to have been discovered about two weeks before it hits peak brightness. Wow. So it's just had its little small death explosion. And it won't get to its peak for two more weeks. Shit. That makes Sting look like a minute man. Right now, it's about the 12th magnitude. The faintest star you can see with your naked eye is about a magnitude of six. Note that the numbers run backwards. A bigger number is a fainter object. And I'm glad Phil pointed this out. Another 10 points to Hufflepuff. Because I've been getting it confused. I don't know why. I've been looking at it for a while. And I was like, crap, is this like golf for some reason where the lower score is better? And Phil just said, yes, it's just like golf. The lower score is better. Or brighter, shall we say. 
M82 is in Ursa Major, well placed for viewing right now in the Northern Hemisphere. UniverseToday.com has a map to show you how to find it. Here's a funny thing too, the supernova itself is what we call a type 1A, a dwarf explosion. Bill, is that a 1 or an I? I can't tell, man. Astronomers are still trying to figure out exactly what happens in a type 1A, IA explosion, comma. But there are three competing scenarios. All right, and pseudo-astronomers like myself are saying, we have no freaking clue what happens when a star explodes. We might have a basic idea, but I imagine there are more than three categories of the possibilities of what happens to a star to make it explode. And then what happens after it, quote unquote, explodes in the little day? Recreation, reformation, dust, accretion, disc, whatevering. <laughs> so that's why it's good to have different schools of thought. You know, you don't always have to think the same thing, especially in something as complex and unknown as when stars explode. I don't say they die, it's more like a metaphor. They, they reform and recreate as planets and stars again, right? That's not death, that's reincarnation. That's recreation. That's phoenixing. What the hell is that? That is creepy. I'm very excited this happened, and I hope to share more images and information with you soon. Thanks, PP. This rivalry is turning out to be a fun one. Universe Today. Bright new supernova blows up in nearby M82 cigar galaxy. If I was going to make a Mono Lewinsky joke, it would have been right there. Wow! See, science is so giddy, they're using words like wow and kaboom. According to the student discoverers, the whole experience was surreal and caught them off guard. One minute, we're eating pizza, making out in the closet, and then five minutes later, we've helped discover supernova. I couldn't believe it. Reminds me of why I got interested in astronomy in the first place. Said Tom Wright in a statement. Yep, yeah, amateur astronomers and uh, high school astronomer students do all the heavy lifting these days. Why, well, I don't know, man. The chances of finding anything new in the sky is astronomical. But this was particularly astounding as it was one of the first images we had taken of this telescope at Ben Cook. Wow, good use of astronomical, man. <laughs> there you go. Good job, National Geographic. That is a 1 and an A. Spectroscopy reveals it to be a type 1A supernova, which occurs when a white dwarf star continuously draws matter in from a companion star. All right, now highlight that sentence again and your minds move on. Until a tipping point is reached and a runaway nuclear reaction ignites. It's the 10th exploding star seen so far this year, and it's by far the brightest. Crazy. Crazy for feeling blue. Yeah, Snow White. Crazy for trying. And Neil deGrasse Tyson says, Some educators who are quick to say, These students just don't want to learn should instead be saying, I suck at my job. Peace out. God bless everybody. All right, cool.